Recently, as of June 2023, there is a lot of buzz about the new Google Cybersecurity Certificate, which is a new course offered through Coursera. Is it worth anything? As they did make a lot of promises about you may be offered jobs through all these uh, employer consortiums, I went ahead and took the eight courses offered here and earned a career certificate. As you can see, I was already enrolled. I was able to complete all eight courses. As you can see, I have a certificate for each of these courses. What this does not show you, however, is I was able to finish this course in only five days. I completed this course on June 4th. I actually started on May 31st. If I scroll down, June 1st, June 2nd, June 4th, June 2nd, May 31st, June 3rd, June 3rd, June 4th. This was the last course, and Foundation Cybersecurity is the first course. I believe this conclusively proves that I finished this course in five days. You're probably wondering, why would I try to speed run this course, and how did I do it in five days? I must admit, I have a couple different unfair advantages. I already know SQL, I already know Python, and I am currently between jobs, which means I have a lot of time to dedicate to this. In fact, you can see I kind of collect these uh, professional certificates for fun because I was in between jobs a lot. I got this uh, cybersecurity certificate. I got an Apply AI certificate. I got an AI, Google IT automation certificate, data science certificate, IT support certificate, SQL certificate. And yes, I took the foundations of cybersecurity back in February, 2020. That's more than three years ago. So yes, there is a little bit of unfair advantage here, but I'm just telling you, it is possible if you already know a little bit of programming and a little bit of SQL, that you can really speed run this course one or two courses per day. The fact that they claim that uh, you need like uh, seven months, mm, no, not even close. They vastly overestimate six months to seven hours a week. And if you throw in all the labs and whatnot, then it will take you that long to finish. On the other hand, if you can dedicate eight hours to study this, you should be able to finish it in less than a month. That is my opinion. Of course, if you when you get into the more complicated topics like Linux, SQL, and Python, then it gets a little more serious. Remember, this course is advertised as you need no experience. And I would agree. If you go back to the courses, it starts out with a pretty simple notes. You're basically watching quite a few videos with a little bit of uh, reading, sometimes in between. And then you watch more videos and then you do a lab. They will ask you a couple questions. The only thing I skipped was the discussion prompt for each of the lessons. Because you don't get any feedback on those, and it's just basically make sure you like engage with other classmates. That you don't ever see them except in these discussion prompts. I have almost always skipped history of cybersecurity. They talk about some old uh, worms, uh, malware, virus, uh, that sort of thing. And then uh, they'll teach you like uh, what to do when you respond. And then they'll ask you a couple old questions. And then uh, eventually you will have to remember some facts like the eight uh, CIS, CISSP security domains, glossaries. I'm not going to show you the questions, but uh, I will show you the glossary terms. It's not really that big of a deal, but you will need to remember most of these terms. As it happens, I already know most of these terms because I kind of keep up with the uh, uh, general uh, buzzwords of the industry as a part of my uh, IT training and uh, continual update. Let us go back to this and let's check out week three. So we have uh, 
talk about frameworks and controls, ethics and cybersecurity. I mean, you can browse all this by yourself. In fact, you can take the course. Uh, you can take the course by basically going through the Coursera online thingy. Hold on, where is that? I think I have too many windows open. Okay. Uh, Google cybersecurity. Let me get back to the professional. Ah, it keeps opening the same freaking screen. Oh, great. They just opened the last one. Just if you uh, go back to the screen, if you actually hit uh, enroll and you can actually audit the course, which lets you access all the material and uh, you don't have to, and then you don't have to pay a penny. How Coursera works is you get seven days free and then they'll charge you 49 bucks to finish the month or 30 days as uh, however long that takes. And then if you need another month, you pay another 49. And if you need another month, you pay another 49. Simple, right? So if you do it really, really fast, you can as you can finish in a couple days as you see me do, and you probably won't have to pay anything. On the other hand, if you do it slow, like the pace that they're recommending, seven hours a week, one hour a day, it will take you six months. You do not need prior Linux, SQL, or Python programming that you need. It's, uh, it'll, it's, it's helpful, but it's not required. It will give you a tiny little bit of uh, intro right in the first uh, course week four but most of the stuff you're you're basically as you can see is just basically watching videos read a little bit take a practice quiz and at the very end uh do a uh, do a review and do the graded quiz which is nine or ten questions you can retake the uh, quiz if you fail you can have uh, you can retake the quiz three times every 24 hours. And no, the questions do not stay the same. They have a pool of questions, so be careful. So basically at the end of every week, you will be asked to uh, test your knowledge in either a, in the review section, you'll be asked to get the graded quiz. Most of these are not graded. The practice quiz, which only has four questions are not graded. It's only at the end of the week you're given a nine or 10 question super quiz, and this is the graded portion. You have to score at least 80% to pass the graded quiz, to pass the week basically, and to be allowed to progress into the next week's course. And obviously you need to finish all four weeks before you can get this uh, course finished. Everything finished in the review, and there is a graded quiz. And no, I did not do 100% in all these quizzes. Every once in a while, I do miss a question or two. And uh, yes, there is once where I have to uh, retake a quiz once or twice because the truth is I did not pay full attention when I was watching the video and I ended up basically making educated guesses at the quizzes and I got them wrong. So yes, it had, does happen to me too. If you don't understand something, you should go into the discussion forums and connect with all the other uh, joiners. Please discuss them with uh, fellow uh, students. And they're doing this uh, weekly sessions, like uh, how are you doing? Are you getting, are you getting the uh, help that you need? Do you have uh, specific questions on what's going on with the uh, assignment and so on and so forth? They do give you citations and uh, what are the FAQs, the glossaries, and even some uh, frequently asked questions if you have uh, uh, questions about how the uh, course is supposed to be run, how to pass, and so on.
Should you take it if you want a career change? I would say yes, even if you are not technical. In fact, in all the videos, one theme that I have seen is they almost went out of their way to emphasize that none of the technical, almost all of the professionals they used to make this video course, I think all except one or two, uh, came from non-technical backgrounds. Uh, some of them were used to work at Starbucks, some of them uh, was working retail. They were emphasizing that a lot of the training that you got in a non-technical field is very much transferable to cybersecurity. As the joke goes, they can teach you the technical stuff, but you have to want this career bad enough for yourself. Anyway, I think I've spent way too long talking about this. As I said, I have finished this course. I will show you my weekly journey over the next couple weeks. And whether I get a job or not, I guess we will find out. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. And join me on this little journey. And I will see you in the next one.